Hey everybody, 2P here, T-U-P-Y-O-R, number two, the letter P. That's me. And today I'm going to do a little section of Texas, the Texas map, okay? This camper is my canvas. These are my paints, my paint pen. And for my oopsies, I got my paint thinner on my rag to wipe it off, okay? These things I'm going to do in sections. I'm going to do the canyon section. I'm going to do the alpine section. I'm going to do East Texas, and I'm going to do the Alamo section. This text is this map is so big because why? Because Texas is big. Now I wasn't born in Texas, but I got here as fast as I could. That's what they say in Texas. I love Texas. Uh, it's got the variety of uh, of landscapes that I like. Okay. The Paladura Canyon is the most special of all of the canyons. Excuse me for a second. Pepper, shh, I'm doing a video. We got 10 dogs, you never know. And there's no way I could do, uh, bring this into the house to do a uh, painting on. So you just gotta deal with it. So pardon me for the background, pig noises and the dog noises and the roosters, just my life. Yeah, he's saying true that. So, back to my tutorial on this section, all right? Paladura Canyon, the prettiest part of Texas is Paladura Canyon in my, in my uh, viewpoint. Uh, it's the second largest canyon in the United States. First one being the Grand Canyon. This is like a mini Grand Canyon, y'all. If y'all hadn't been there, then you need to go check it out. So I put the Paladura Canyon here, and the reason I did that right there is because that's known as the lighthouse. That's the feature on, um, on uh, that's one of the highlighted areas in the canyon, they call it the lighthouse. And in the lighthouse, there is a show called uh, Texas. Uh, it's in the amphitheater of downtown uh, um, Paladura. It's the open amphitheater. Tickets range about $23 to about $38. You could also get it with a meal. So you can sit down, go earlier, get a meal, sit down in this open theater, and it goes all night. So you get the sunset in the background. It's a great play. And it's it's uh, a little bit of history. Y'all didn't know I was going to give you a little history lesson. Sorry about that. But that's me. The original Texas was filmed in Fort Griffin, and it was called Fandangle. Been to it, too. A little smaller show, but... Both two really, really good shows you need to check out, Pendangle and Texas. And in Texas, they only show it from like uh, May, uh, first of middle of May to August. Uh, and uh, so it's not year round that they do that because it's open here. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna retouch this up in just a second. I'm gonna give you the history lessons first. So if you wanna bypass the history lesson, just scroll forward on my video, hit the part where I'm painting it and catch me up there. But for right now, I'm gonna explain to you why I put these on my camper. Route 66, started in Chicago, way back over here. No, I don't have Chicago on my map. Going through Texas all the way down to LA. No, I don't have LA on my camper. Wouldn't put LA on my camper. Not that I don't like California. LA's too big for me. And uh, the other, another one, I don't think I have this on here. We'll do later, is the Bankhead Highway. <laughs> And uh, John Bankhead is the one that did it. It's, it's a highway that they went through from Washington, D.C. through uh, San Diego. That's when it went through. And it goes through Texas. And that's the little route that I drew through. Bankhead. That, there's not all of the... Uh, hang on a second. Let me just yell real quick. Shush! Moses, shh. Shh, stay down. Okay, back to my tutorial. Uh, Route 66 goes through there. You gotta check out Route 66. Um, the, um, another uh, word for Route 66 is, um, they call it the Will Rogers uh, Highway. They call it the uh, Main Street of America. They call it uh, Mother Road. These are all uh, ones that they gave uh, names to uh, Route 66. Um, so you're wondering why I have a buffalo on my camper. Mary Ann uh, Goodnight, back in 1878, 
was the wife to um, Charles Goodnight. She actually saved the buffalo herd from extinction. She took in five of her buffalo and calfed them and kind of grew, they were almost extinct. Um, and she brought them back and now they're protected, which is, we owe our big thanks for that. Um, of course you got, I got several colleges on this thing, Texas Techs, Go Red Raiders. Uh, and another really fun thing is this right here, Cadillac Ranch Farm. Actually, it's got Cadillac Ant Farm is what I got on here. They also call it the Cadillac Ranch. The Cadillac Ranch uh, was started back in uh, 1974. I do have a cheat sheet over here. Uh, and they he put in Cadillacs from the year 1949 to 1963. And what people do is they 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 you when you're driving down the highway, I think it's Route 287. Don't quote me on that. You'll see all these stuck up Cadillacs. No, they're not stuck up. They're just stuck up in the air. And they were put in to just draw some attention. So it's like artwork. And you want to make sure you bring a spray can and put, because you're gonna, you can spray on these things and it's the coolest thing. They had a fire a while, while back. I don't remember what year it was, but uh, anyway, it's worth going to. And if you're going through this area, that means you're going to Amarillo. And there is a must stop in Texas. And I'm going to add that because I have, I'm always adding stuff. I'm going to add the big, big Texan and it's worth, it's worth putting on my map, probably right here. And the reason I'm going to put that on there is because it is a steak restaurant and you have, uh, they've issued you a challenge. Now I am not up for this, but you might be, if you're a little old lady with a big appetite, this is your deal. 72 ounce steak. Okay. Baked potato, salad, and a cocktail shrimp. Eating it all in an hour, guess what? It's free. If not, 72 ounce steak costs just $72. So there's a big cow, I think it's a, her, a heifer cow in front there, but it says Big Texan. Check that out on the restaurant. Okay, uh, another one which is by Restaurant Trail. I have one, two, three, four trails that went through Texas for cattle. Cattle was big. Uh, the Longhorns were really, really big. Uh, we also have uh, another popular one is um, Black Angus that we have that we run cattle through. And these were the trails that they took. And the Western Trail was uh, one that went up through Fort Griffin. They also called it the Dodge City Trail, the Northern and the Texas Trail. And it was about a 100 day ride, trail ride. All right, that's the history of the canyon area. I went ahead in Texas form, outlined the whole state in bob wire, okay? So let's get to painting. My trusty paint pens, my glove for smearing. Remember, I got a, a funny backwards. If you know the joke, it's funny. It's, it's a funny joke. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get going. Enough of that. Let's get to moseying down. Now, I have a little pouch here, and I've got lots of paint pens. So the question is, is what do I want to do? I'm going to do from the top to the bottom, because I don't want to, and I'm going to use my big guy. I just, I call him the big guy, because he's my biggest marker. I just got him. He's got a slant on him. If you can see, it's kind of got a, it's a bigger than my other ones. And I don't want to put my hand in here or anything when I'm drawing. So because this is bigger, I'm just going to give it, after about, Three years, this stuff starts fading. Okay, I'm gonna. I do not want to put my hand in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add some. Just all I'm doing right now is tracing what I did about six years ago, and trying to add a little bit more color, a little bit more dimension, and to make it look prettier. Gotta make it look prettier. All right, got your crosses, which are the barbs. There are a lot of barbs on, uh, in Texas. There's lots of different types of uh, bob wire. Bob wire was not a very, if you ever watch Marty Walsh, Tom Selleck's, one of Tom Selleck's really good, uh, and I am a huge Western fan. Marty Walsh is really one of my favorite, and his favorite line is, you have no idea how little I care. I love that line. All right, so that being said, I wanna get out my red. And I'm gonna get out my brown and I'm gonna get out a little bit of my orange because it's 
the Grand Canyon has lots of facets. All right, I might have to. The Grand Canyon has lots of facets of um, colors, and so does Paladura Canyon. Um, I gotta get up my paint pans. <laughs> All right, I don't have orange in here. Well, I might not need orange. Let's see here. Doggone it. All right, we're gonna make do for right now. So, and I need my brown. Mm -mm. All right, I think I'm set, folks. Yep, oh, got one. That's right. I'm way up. Okay, y'all need to see my tutorial on how I have this set up. It's called the Redneck Setup, okay? It's called uh, put your T-post on a fence post. I mean, your tripod on a fence post, T-post, something like that. <laughs> Driving in with a T-post driver, duct, duct tape, duct tape it to the T-post, and you got your tripod, because I'm way up here. I got this... I got this camper jacked up on a um, on some beams. The reason I do, because we live out here in the country, and we have varmints. When I mean my varmints, I mean I mean nasty rats. I do not like nasty rats. Okay, let me get back to my. And so if I jack it up high, the dogs go under it. No rats. And I put some lights underneath there. Lights and dogs. Rats don't like. You saw what I'm doing, but earlier today, I mean earlier before, when I do my paint bins, I don't want to waste all this paint. So I take my, and I just blend it in a little bit so I don't have to use so much paint. So I'm going to start off by putting brown on this. And if you see, and if I go over it, you know what, I can fix it pretty easily. All right. All right, now I'm going to kind of just touch it up with a little bit of color. And then I'm gonna let this dry, then I'm gonna go back over it with some red, and I'll probably end up getting some orange and some uh, yellow on here to just kinda show the veins of color. When God created the Paladura Canyon, he created beauty, and I'm not even gonna do it justice, but I am going to showcase it because it's worth showcasing. I would highly recommend going down there to the State Park of Texas you can uh, get on Jeep rides, horseback riding they got there. Uh, they got uh, tornadoes there. And they got, they got heat stroke down there. So make sure when you go, go when it's not in August or even maybe in mid-July, not the best time to go. Okay, so there's my mountain, all right? Not too, not too shabby, but it needs some, it needs color. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm going to keep moving along, take up my Route 66, see how much brighter that looks, that look is, woohoo, 66, add one more 6 and I wouldn't be drawing that on there, 666, six, six. don't like 666, six, six. if you know your Bible, you know why I don't like 666, six, six. it's called the Mark of the Beast, it's Lucifer, the Great Serpent, the liar, he is one dude that I don't like, but I do love my Lord. And I'm thinking that I have the gift to create. I hope you like this, this uh, video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs up. I like saying that. All right, so I'm gonna draw my road now. And you know what? When you draw a road, let's see if we can draw a straight road because Unless you live in Texas, sometimes they're not. Actually, the worst road I've ever done, and I've traveled a lot. It, and forgive me for saying this, guys, from Louisiana, but Highway 20 going through Louisiana is probably one of the bumpiest, worst roads I have ever been through. Do not like it. It's way, way too bumpy. And like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm having fun here. If you notice... Some drunk person laid the lines here, and I probably should put them in yellow. Matter of fact, guess what? I'll do that. I got yellow right here. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea just to put a little bit in yellow. We'll put this line here. These guys here on the bottom, they can't cross, but the guys on top, they can pass. So, going that way, if you're going, uh, hang on, if you're going west, go westing man to California through this ray 
you can pass. But if you're going the other way, you can't pass. <laughs> All right. I think we're draw dry right now. Let's find out. Yep, we're dry. So I'm going to add. Let me put these up real quick here. Actually, I'll just hold them. I want to add a little color in here. Uh, this mountain, and if I, it does, it would look really weird if I just drew lines in it. But if I streak it like it was natural, it looks so much better. So I'm gonna give it just some color here and make it look more earthy. I like earthy. I really need some orange. But I don't know if I want to get I don't want it to be all one dimensional, so I'm gonna get some different linear lines, if that's actually a word, linear. Alright. Not that would be too bad. I probably will go back. Let's put see what yellow does in here. Alright. A little bit of history here. That looks better. When you're doing stuff, I'm actually adding Oh, here we go. See here? When you push on it, you're going to get a bulk of, you're going to get uh, too much, and that's what I have this here for. I'll dab on that. Since I've got too much on this right here, and I don't want to, I'm going to take this and I'm going to wipe it off. Take that little area there, and I'm going to clean it up. Let's say I made a mistake. Oh my gosh, I just drew on my camper, my paint thinner. This is why you have it on there. And sometimes it takes a little bit of... And yeah, <laughs> clean it up. I get a little bit more stuff on there a little bit and clean it up. I don't like that yellow. It's Let's say I let's say I put too much yellow on there. Let's just give you a little tutorial on that. Got too much yellow there. So what I'll do is I will wait, let it dry, and I'll come back over it with the with the um, brown and the red. All right. Now I want the blue. Probably should be get a tray up here to make this easier, but I don't have a tray here. There's my orange. It was hiding. There we go. So let's add the orange here over this. Okay. We're just going to All right. Now, you can see here that looks like just a bunch of colors. And if I go back with the brown here in a minute, it'll kind of I'll make it have cliffs and stuff like that. All right, all I'm gonna do here is just do a P, a D, an L, Pala. And I don't even think I'm gonna retouch that. Well, maybe I will. Pala, Dura. Are we having fun yet, guys? Bob Ross is a guy that likes to paint, and uh, I like watching him when I want to take a nap. <laughs> so I might be putting y'all to sleep. Forgive me for that. But this right here is takes a little bit of time. Now, now you know why I'm doing it in sections. I might even have my head in your way. I apologize for that. If my head is in the way, I do have a big head and a big mouth. Try to watch what I say. Try to be a good girl. All right, there we go, and the S. There are different types of paint pens. This one's just a fine, and uh, if I don't be careful, I'll spend too much time doing this, and I it will never be perfect. Perfect, okay? So it's it's something that uh, I struggle with because I want to make it perfect, and it's just not going to be perfect. Let's see if I can't find my black fine. That's not fine. I might have to put, put this on hold. You know what? Since I've got all these out, I'm gonna put this down here. 
let's see how much paint pens I got. The Cadillac Ranch is kind of a funny thing. The reason it's funny is because I need every color here because it, if you imagine somebody spray painting Cadillacs, it's pretty dark and tough. All right, I want to get this dimension here. So you can see here, I want to put some lines to kind of give it like it's got some ridges to it. Okay, that's done. All right, let's go ahead and I want to wait on the, why am I waiting on the brown? Because I'm going to work down, okay? And I do need a fine pen, so I will, I'll tell you what, when I finish up here, yeah, I need a fine, I need a fine pen. The reason I need the fine one is because I got to write. Mary Ann Goodnight, and it's way too fine, and I need to do the cards. So the little tiny details, this big one, which is called the medium, it's too big, and even the fine is too big. I need the kind of the ultra fine. So hang tight, and I'll return.